Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you would know that GME has now surpassed the moon and is on course to not Mars, but Alpha Centauri. Sadly, I believe I've missed out for the most part on this historical GME short squeeze, but I still want to continue to support this massive Wall Street bets movement. So I bought $20,000 worth of stock and call options for Nokia, AMC, and Palantir. And to be clear, there is no technical analysis here. There's no fundamental analysis here. It's 100% a YOLO bet based purely on my good faith in the traders of Wall Street bets. For proof, here are my positions. 5K in Nokia, 3K in AMC, and just a little under 8K in Palantir, and then I do have some in GME. I will double down on all my positions if they 2X. Now, I do want to say that I'm doing this purely for fun and entertainment purposes. There is a big chance I lose all this money, so needless to say, take YOLO bets at your own risk. Also, before I get any hate comments saying that I'm distracting people away from GME, that is not what I'm here to do. But here's what I'll say. If Wall Street Bets can get GME up to $694.20, I will buy and hold $25,000 worth of shares to help short squeeze the living crap out of these hedge funds. So there you have it. Wall Street Bets, congratulations, you have officially turned me into a Wall Street Bets degenerate. And honestly, with what you guys have done so far to GME, I have so much faith and respect for everybody involved as individuals and as a group. So far, we've got Chamat Palihapitiya to buy in at $100. We got Jim Cramer defending and rooting us on. And then there's a legend himself, Elon Musk, tweeting, I quote, Game Stongs, I missed this GME frenzy. Absolutely fucking legendary. I'm stoked to be an actively participating member of this rapidly growing group. Over 3 million degenerates and counting. What we have done is not only one for the textbooks, but a rebellion against entrenched institutional hedge funds. Hedge funds that I should say have deepened their pockets for decades at the expense of thus far powerless retail traders. But it is a new era, an era in which we take money from the rich and give it to the poor. This is literally a real life Robin Hood scenario playing out and I'm all for it. Especially because I've been seeing so many posts saying that people have made enough money from GME to pay for college, pay off their debt, pay for their surgeries. This movement is empowering. This is life changing for many individuals. This Reddit user says he put 1k into GME trusting the wisdom of Wall Street bets and because of it, he was able to make enough money to get the life-saving surgery his dog needed. Other people are donating a portion of their earnings to charity and all around guys, this just warms my heart. Yes, there were millionaires made overnight, but it's also just amazing to see the, the level of impact this movement is having on other people. I too want to share and spread the love, so I've decided that 42.069% of the profits I end up making from Nokia, AMC, Palantir, and also GME if I end up buying more, I will give it away to different charities that I will share with you guys when I do. And lastly, to say that retail traders have won this war is an absolute understatement. We have laid waste to, we have decimated, obliterated, and embarrassed every hedge fund that bet against us the so-called rookie retail traders. By the end of this week, we will have in total racked in $10 billion from these hedge funds covering their short positions. I mean, take a look at Melvin Capital, which is now absolutely a meme of a hedge fund. It's estimated that they already are losing close to $13 billion during this ongoing GME rally. Citron, <coughs> I mean Citron, and other big money institutions alike are trying to play it cool, but their statements so far have been pretty pathetic and if anything, manipulative. When they lose big, they will of course turn to the media, create fake news, and then play the victim card. Then they will turn to the government to try to get them to try to regulate social media for market manipulation, when in fact, it was the hedge funds themselves that have been getting away with years of market manipulation. This tweet reads, so market manipulation by the Federal Reserve and pumping money into failing banks and corporations is okay, but Reddit users rallying GameStop is wrong and must be regulated. The entire stock market is disconnected from reality. It's funny how quickly the financial press cries for hedge funds. Another tweet reads, when hedge funders and others loot our markets, it's all good. But when retail investors destroy a hedge fund, then all of a sudden CNBC analysis starts calling for regulation, blames foreign powers, and then talks quote unquote fundamentals. I call bullshit. Even more concerning is that if you aren't already aware that in the last few days, at the exact same times, a whole bunch of brokerages, including Robinhood, E-Trade and TD Ameritrade have crashed. This is hardly a coincidence and is speculated to be an attempt to stop retail traders and temporarily drive prices down so that hedge funds can cover themselves. So cue the lawsuits and you can bet your money the SEC will be involved sooner or later. But the truth is, there's nothing legally wrong with Wall Street bets and what we have stirred up. Since the launch of commission-free and mobile trading, there has been an ongoing paradigm shift with the stock market. We will see more bizarre and exciting stories like GME. This is just the beginning. It will be interesting to see how this all unfolds. In the meantime, this is Monday Morning Bull, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.